Okay, this is going to be a walk around of the 74 Capri that I'm working on turning into a Capri Piranha, which is a South African version of the Capri that had a V8 in it. So anyway, uh, just a walk around to show what, uh, what we found for 300 bucks and what we're working on now. So I'll try and do this without too much jiggling. Uh, so anyway, what we're looking at here obviously is the back end. Um, for the rear end, we've put um, uh, 76 uh, Mustang 2 differential under an 8 inch differential. Uh, much stronger than the little dinky uh, Capri rear end. And you can see here, as I try and walk around without too much jiggling, uh, the trunk, uh, even underneath the, uh, uh, see if I can lift it here, even underneath the metal is in really, really good shape. Um, there's virtually no holes in it at all. Um, and down the sides, uh, you can see on the roof there, we've got some flares. The Mustang differential is two inches wider, and I've got, uh, instead of 13 by 5 inch wheels, I've got 15 by 7 inch wheels that are going to go on it. So we're going to put those fender flares on the back. Um, so those are uh, 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 sort of a, a, a Capri Piranha kind of style. So... Uh, when uh, we put the uh, five liter engine in, we had to modify the tunnel. So there's the jigsaw tunnel that's sort of been put together <coughs> with all its ropey welds. <laughs> so, but you can look at the floors, and I mean, they're just awesome for a 40 year old car. Like, there's virtually no rust, there's some surface rust. Uh, and then when I peeled off the, the coating on the back, we had kind of the same thing. It's really, really clean. All of the floors are intact. The steering column is currently sitting on the floor. And as you can see, we're just in the process of doing the wiring here. Um, so that's coming along quite nicely as well. So this is a, a painless wiring harness. It was originally designed for a factory 5 Daytona coupe, but it fits quite nicely. So uh, Doors close really nice. Overall, the body is in really good shape. There's absolutely no structural rust in the body. There's some surface dints and dings and scratches and stuff that I've taken care of or are in the process of taking care of. And then for the engine, uh, we have a, a custom rad. Well, it's custom, I say. It's, it's a production rad, but it's 15 inches tall and 24 whatever inches wide. Uh, two fans on a custom shroud, um, and then we have a what should be by the time it's done about a 350 horsepower uh, 302 with uh, aluminum heads, eight stack EFI system. I'll just pull off some of these uh, things here so you can get an idea of the effect. Just give me a sec. Pull off the gloves. So that's what it'll look like when it's running. Um, just a really, really nice system. It's a, a electronic fuel injection, so it looks like Weber's, but it's actually fuel injection. Um, and we've modified the brakes. It took away the power brakes, and they've got a, a um, uh, adjustable proportioning valve here. Uh, which is the knob you see there. So, um, all rebuilt brakes all around. And um, yeah, so, and the seats uh, I've got for the car, I've got, uh, we're going to use the stock rear seat. And um, I've got Mustang, uh, 76 Mustang. Seventy-six Mustang front seats with black leather with a red accent, so uh, they should look quite nice in the car, I think. And yeah, so that's uh, just a bit of a run through of what we're doing. And as you can see, we've kind of detailed the engine compartment. 
Uh, I did manage to find some uh, red uh, electrical tape that pretty closely matches the paint. So we have color coordinated wiring, which is kind of unusual. And I haven't done that black one at the back yet. That's the engine harness coming out. So yeah, other than that, it's uh, kind of where we're at on the project. So I expect it'll be a year or two to uh, complete. And uh, we'll go from there. So there you go. That's a run through on a 74 Capri Piranha clone. Headers uh, are equal, uh, equal length headers, so optimum exhaust extraction. And yeah, engines by Fortin's, custom camshaft, uh, specifically designed to work with the 8-stack EFI system. So yeah, anyway, that's it. Uh, we'll cut this off now.